Is that better? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Leslie Hawthorne, Community Action and Impact here at Red Hat. For the purposes of this presentation, I'm just going to be saying HFOS. And my hope is today you will understand more about the humanitarian free and open source software landscape and be inspired to contribute to one of these projects. So getting started, a bit of history. The HFOS movement actually sprung up in response to the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Specifically, a group of free software hackers living in Sri Lanka came together after the tsunami to get together and create a disaster relief and mitigation platform. They were not only interested in scratching their own itch and serving the needs of their countrymen, because again, Sri Lanka, very much uh, heavily affected by the tsunami, but they also realized that these systems should be free so that those who were suffering always had access to the tools that were required to help ameliorate that suffering. The result was Sahana, a disaster management platform, but there are many other uh, software code bases in this area. How many of you folks survived the recent snowpocalypses on the East Coast? Couple of hands, wonderful. So Ushahidi is actually a crowd mapping, uh, crowdsource mapping tool which was used to help folks know to go and shovel their neighbor's driveway if they needed assistance. Also in this space, Google Person Finder, a software suite that allows you to uh, contribute code so that folks who are separated from their loved ones in the event of a disaster may be reunited later. Uh, in the healthcare and medical record space, folks may be familiar with the Veterans Administration's recent decision to open source the VISTA healthcare record system. Long before that, the folks working on the OpenMRS project were working to create an electronic healthcare record system that could be deployed in the developing world specifically to help collect granular statistics on patients who required treatment for HIV so that when international aid organizations required uh, useful statistics about what was actually required, the doctors in these developing nations were able to give it to them. In the social justice and activism space, there are a number of software toolkits that allow folks who are uh, doing work to report human rights abuses, to overthrow repressive regimes, and to do other uh, activist work that may not, uh, let's just say it's probably not good that people know that they're doing these things because, you know, they're letting folks know that other people are abusing other people and that can be bad for you. Martis and Tor actually help those folks to uh, contribute those reports anonymously and mitigate their fear of reprisal. Folks are probably most familiar with the microfinance space from uh, site kiva.org. Mifos is the open source software that powers the lending that is done by the Grameen Foundation, which was founded by Dr. Mohammed Yunus, Nobel Prize winner. To date, um, thousands and thousands of people worldwide have received uh, microloans via the Grameen Foundation using Mifos, allowing them to create small businesses in their local communities that benefit themselves, their families, and particularly, this has been useful for empowering women worldwide. Jason's talked a lot about civic engagement this morning, so to briefly touch on this, the idea that municipalities are opening up their data to make it most useful for their citizens to do wider engagement. And I'm just going to have to give a quick shout out to my hometown, Portland, Oregon, the first city in the United States to do a public applications contest with open data, resulting in the PDX bus app. So if you ever come to Portland, we have an excellent public transportation system. And if you need to know how to get around, we got an app for that. Also, there is Code for America and Civic Commons. Ah, excellent. HFOS and the Academy. Um, so Humanitarian FOSS has actually made some amazing inroads in academia, specifically the uh, Humanitarian FOSS project out of Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut. This effort actually came about due to a National Science Foundation grant to explore the concept that underrepresented groups in computer science, women and people of color, would be more likely to enter a computer science program and would be more likely to remain in a computer science program if the work that they were doing had a social good or social justice focus to it. Um, these folks have had immense success. This photo here is uh, the principal investigators and a couple of the students who uh, are actually receiving an award from uh, the Apps for Healthy Kids contest put on by First Lady Michelle Obama to help fight the childhood obesity epic, uh, epidemic. Uh, additionally, you've got code from sophomores in college being used real time in production to help the city of New York understand what would happen in the event of a disaster and how to allocate shelter resources. They folks also have a venture funded startup as well. Um, for those in the audience not familiar with the Grace Hopper Conference, it's the uh, largest annual gathering of technical women in computing and for the last couple of years, a group of volunteers have gotten together to teach the attendees more about open source software, again through the vector of contributing to humanitarian projects, projects like Sahana, projects like Google Person Finder. Uh, the first year we had about 50 people, this year we're expecting 225, it's amazing if you're at Grace Hopper, I hope to see you there. Uh, this will be a wonderful time for you to come together and learn more about FOSS. Last but not least, the really cool thing about the humanitarian FOSS world is it's, it's spawned a whole bunch of different types of global real-time collaborations from the random hacks of kindness uh, 
events where folks come together to work on a problem over a weekend to actual real-time collaboration to help mitigate disasters as they occur. So the Crisis Commons folks put on crisis camps. The humanitarian open street map has hot activations. And those folks are actually working together right now to help out the folks in Colorado with their wildfires with real-time map data. I hope you would like to contribute to HVOS. The end. <laughs>